Hello, hello, and welcome to another boss fight for Dark Souls 3. And today we're here at the uh, Parent Keeps entrance, I think it is. Which we're gonna try to do our first actually uh, hard boss. This is most likely the uh, first boss that will kick people in the teeth. Because it's one of the the first actually hard boss you're gonna run into. Uh, I noticed I'm not hearing the freaking fighting anymore. I don't know what's up. But uh, yeah. Let's see how this is gonna go. I'm probably not gonna do it in the first strike. Uh, first time I got here I really got smashed. Let's see how it works this time around. These guys remind me a lot of some of the mobs I saw in uh, just the other game they made for only for PS4 for uh, Bloodborne, yeah, Bloodborne. That's just certain uh, style about it. Right, in the salute. I noticed that summoning some of the NPCs at the boss fights, you, can, you actually get some new uh, salutes out of it. Okay, do I remember you being this fast? Okay, I'm gonna... It's gonna take a little bit of time before I get uh, used to his fastness. Oh, right, and what is this? Wow. The most annoying part of this boss is he's gonna not summon, but he's gonna have his helper. Sometimes they talk with him, and you now one that helps me comes around. And they uh, actually use his moveset, which is Pretty nasty. Oh, I don't remember it being this nasty, goddammit. A good tactic for this. Uh, oh. Good tactic for this boss is. Wow, I'm being freaking lazy. I just jumped into the game, I guess that's why I'm a little bit slow, but uh, in this uh, in this first phase it's uh, a good idea to rush him because he's very uh, easy to poise break. Damn it. I guess I'm uh, jumping back too much. It's not a good idea. Is the boss there? Right. And first time I thought, wow, this was hard. God damn, now the actual boss fight starts. <laughs> time to get my uh, teeth smashed in. One thing I really hate about this game is it has such great music for the boss fight, but in the rest of the game it has no freaking music, which I find really, really odd. Anyway, now he's on fire. He's gonna stop uh, spawning those uh, nasty uh, brothers of his, but it's gonna become quite a handful. This is not gonna be as easily uh, poised broken. Probably we're gonna get smashed. Well. Actually, probably the most annoying thing is he's gonna start leaving some trails of fire. 
which can really mess you up. Why am I heavy, damn it? This is why I wasn't freaking dodging well. And this is gonna be a bust, I guess. This is why I wasn't doing the dodges wrong. Oh, right. This is not gonna go well. Nah, no chance doing this with the fat at all. Well, not such a bad first try, actually. Mm. Don't know why I'm freaking so heavy. Sure, I only use the uh, shield, which is very light. Oh! Why are you equipping that, damn it? Anything else is in order there? Mm. Right, let's try this with an actual... Uh, Freaking, uh, what's it called? Good roll. It's kind of wondering what the fuck am I not dodging anything? And a good idea is to go back here because down there there's gonna be some heavy fighting. You can actually run past most of this stuff, you don't actually have to fight it. Which I kinda like about this boss, because there are some bosses which you have to clear a little bit before you reach them. That's my body. Now they're talking. I have to say, it's one of the more interesting fights in this uh, game. As you can see, very easily, poise broken so much in the second one. I have to say I'm not a fan of the uh, copies, but they kinda add a little bit of a, uh, a twist. The best way to deal with them is to actually wait for the other one uh, to start helping you. I am pretty sure you can actually uh, backstab these guys, but it's pretty freaking hard. And I want the stamina for such long, uh, such long combos. Okay, you and me, buddy. I should get used to dodging sideways, it's not a good idea to uh, which one are you guy? Ah, I should probably focus on the boss at the moment. Right. Okay, stop it there. And he's gonna do that a lot, he's gonna get poise drop. Well, almost did that mistake, I'm gonna do that mistake a lot until you get used to it. Uh, every time he's gonna get poise broken, he's gonna do a... Um, that sidestep he does. Wow, that one's pretty fast. Ah damn. Gonna fuck me up. Let's see what... Whoa! I really hate this frame that uh, it's totally uh, messing up my. Uh, I wanna do a counter attack and I can't do anything inside it. It's 
it's better to dodge this way as I did now. Sometimes you won't get to do that. Have to be on the ball totally. Oh wow. In two tries. Come on, buddy. You made me spend like one hour when I did it on the freaking stream. God damn. Cinders of a lord and soul of the blood of the wolf. Very interesting fight, I have to say. It's one of my uh, favorite. And uh, I'm a little bit disappointed either I <laughs> had a lot of practice doing it on my dexterity character or uh, I'm just getting used to this game a little bit too much. And after this one the difficulty is gonna start to ramp up actually, especially on bosses. And next is gonna be the crypts. It's not one of my favorite places, but it's not all that bad. Pretty interesting uh, entrance. Well, <laughs> I wonder if I did. I wasn't heavy in the first try. If I would have done it in the first, wow. Hmm. Put for thought. Well, now that it's done, I'm gonna go back and deliver some of the stuff I got on my uh, on my uh, trip to the swamp. A bit of stuff to turn up. Also managed to uh, farm a little bit. Uh, I farmed those two uh, dark rates and got armor for it. But I think I'm gonna wear it next episode. I kinda like this armor though. Whatever says night is good for me. Ooh, what are you doing here, ah, buddy? I know you. Been some time. Really? I just dropped in to see how she's getting on. Now, what are you playing at with this circus? This cesspool of doddering old folk and degenerates. <laughs> Couldn't be better. She must fit in perfectly here. <laughs> I think you would uh, be feeling that uh, overbeal uh, bottle yourself. Please. This place is as good. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome home, I should speak thine heart. Hmm, and I don't think I got more than one they level up. Maybe two. One level up. Get more strength. Much bigger. I should probably pump this to 30, then I can uh, focus a little bit more on strength and maybe some vitality. Not sure when I'm gonna do the um, a little bit of faith because I kind of wanna go that side. With this one. You oft the lords of Cinder, the undead. Yep. Engine. Yep. So that's how they're delivered to their thrones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I pity the sorry souls. Is that really Lordship's last reward? And I'm gonna tell you why this guy is so bitter. <laughs> I don't know if you can uh, see, but he has actually the uh, exact same armor besides the head as the guy we fought. And he's some kind of recruit to the Legion, but he did not actually make it in, and that's why he's bitter, I, I think. I failed to thank you. Yeah, did for you? helping them find their final resting place. Yeah, you see? Farron's ring. <laughs> I pity the sorry. <laughs> <coughs> sorry. Let's see what that ring does. I don't think I used it much. Baron's ring reduces skill uh, focus points consumption. From what I understand, this only works on uh, actual weapon skills, not on the spells themselves, not caster spells, which I kind of, I'm kind of disappointed to be totally honest. A ring given to the undead legion of Farron reduces skill focus point consumption. The abyss watchers for their hunting require the sword technique. That went beyond any existing art, also but provided just that, and this thing further extends the effect. 
<sighs> I'm so bothered that we have so many fingers and we can use only two rings. Why can't we get like fingers on each one like those freaking rich people back in the day? Yeah, which one was this one? I think it was. I probably should have read that first. I think we can't read it now. Uh, too late. Goddamn. Well, at least I have the uh, soul. Soul of the blood of the wolf, one of the twisted steeped in strength. Uh, the blood was spread amongst the beast watchers and their souls are one with the soul of the wolf blood master. I think this souls we are talking about is the... Uh, if uh, you people played the... Uh, the first one in the expansion where was this boss na named Artorius something, I think Artorius what was. And he had this wolf. And it seems like he was his big big buddy and he sacrificed his shield I think protect him and I think this is the wolf that is presented here I think so I'm not sure if there's any name detailed in that uh, expansion but yeah I think that's the guy uh, what else hmm. uh, let's see what weapons we can get uh, this uh, last boss we did uh, give some nice, really uh -huh, interesting weapons. So, yes, I did. Uh, most illustrious Lord Seeker. Or should I say, Lord Slayer? Fine oh, thank kindling you. for the thrones, is it not? Each soul truly worthy of Lordship. And all slain by thy hand to bind them to their thrones, even in death. Well, I still got a little bit of work ahead of me. For as we are to our thrones, thou art to thy duty. I'm In fact, stuck. <laughs> you think thou hast helped these poor lords along their rightful path? Mm. If you say so. Now, this is one of the rings I really, really want. On the stray demon. I don't really need this uh, spell. I kind of tried it a little bit on my caster character and I can't say I like it. It has nice damage but it has awful freaking range and awful freaking cast time so um, yeah. I kind of need this one to wear the heavier armor later on. What? I'm pretty sure you offered another weapon for that thing as well. Oh, oh, I don't have the, uh, you don't have the souls for it. Wolf Knight's Greatsword. I think this is very similar to what Artorius dropped as a weapon. But I think you have to, you had to craft it. Mm, yes, I think you had to craft that one. I'm not remembering exactly, it's been a long time. Great sort of a knight tainted by the dark of the abyss and master of the wolf's god of Farron. The wolf knight was the first abyss watcher, and his sword is more punishing against creation of the abyss. I guess there's a few uh, bosses that uh, are more susceptible to this uh, kind of weapon. While in oh, wolf store, while in stance, use normal attacks for a low spinning slash or strong attack to leap forward in a vertical slash and so on. So this one is very, uh, very, um, how should I say, very uh, artistic when you do this, uh, this skill. This one not so much, but it looks a little bit cooler. Great sword of the abyss watchers, which is uh, typically paired with an unusual dagger. The dagger is utilized as a wedge in the left hand, while the great sword is held in the right. The unique technique that was anonymous with the undead legion confounds foes in the manner of wolves hunting prey. Parry deflects an attack when time properly and falls up with a critical hit. Executed with a dagger. Actually, uh, this wording is a bit weird because I didn't see a follow-up. In, indeed, it uh, pushes enemies into the uh, crit state, but you actually have to go and uh, attack them. 
I guess it's a little bit of poor wording. Anyway, we're gonna save the soul for this one later on, but I freaking need dexterity to use this. Anyway, pro probably gonna become one of my uh, weapons. Let's see what else do I have to deliver before I go off. Um, hmm. Coal, oh, lots of scrolls. Deep braille. Oh, I actually uh, did look it up, and this braille is uh, a kind of writing with dots that blind people use to uh, read. It's very, very interesting. I never actually heard, I don't know if it's called the same in my language, so that's probably why I didn't hear about it. And then again, I don't run into blind people every day, so yeah. Oh. Mm. Dream Chasers. I don't know if I want to give that yet. I want to see what's up with that, because I know it asks something where you got it. And you have to want to answer this and I'm not sure what exactly happens if you choose any. I'm gonna see it uh, ah, next episode well, just to make sure. It's good to see you in good health. Because every time well, I give, gave her the ashes, I uh, gave her an answer where I found it. I, and I think she's holding back on, on me. Maybe she's not selling some stuff. I'm gonna find out. Anyway, well, so well. just go. What's the undead legion doing with a coal such as this? I don't should I know, buddy? The crystal sages had sided with Farron's abyss watchers. Uh, I suppose it must be true. Somewhat. You should know. This coal is imbued with magic. First one I've ever seen. Hardly a surprise, is it? I've never been one for books or wise men. <laughs> Right, let's see, can I enforce anything today? More on this, I really like this one, it uh, looks cool, it's pretty decent, as most of the nice movesets, but it can be enchanted, but uh, doesn't matter all that much. Anything else? I don't think so. Probably should stop the... Enchanting. I'm kind of holding out a little bit because I kind of was. You, I want to use tower shield. So um, yeah. Well, anyway, let's see. I think we got this crystal one, which is uh, an enchant for casters. One thing I really don't like about this game, basically, you can use these enchants, these four enchants, I think. Uh, and still enchant your weapon with magics, but when you go this kind of stuff which uh, modifies some of the uh, magical type of damage, uh, you can't enchant your weapon with magic anymore, unfortunately. It does give some very nice bonuses, as you see. If this one is gonna give uh, magic users a bit of a bonus to actually go with it. Poison one, this, I think this one makes it kind of reduces attributes but gives a chance to poison a lot of bot bosses are but that's they're susceptible to poison but it's not gonna do much damage but I think in higher levels it's probably gonna stack up a little bit considering how much health they're gonna start having deep one this is the uh, darkness one fortunately yet the <laughs> Eliminates all the attributes. These kinds of weapons that eliminate the at attributes altogether, I think, were the kind of weapons you use at the start because you don't have a lot of stats. Usually, I think casters use these kinds of weapons because they are not focusing a lot on stats. And this is one for the uh, Eric dudes. Maybe even for me a little bit later on. Well, anyway, let's uh, deliver the scrolls. Uh, damn it, I forgot to take this NPC. I'm gonna take him between episodes. Hopefully, I can still get him. Okay, hello, my oh, city. Of Ash. Welcome back. Hello. Do you That's wish to hear a tale? You only have to ask. Mm, not really, but I have this. Dirty, dirty oh, book. What's this? More Champion porn. <laughs> Ash, this divine tome is forbidden. 
Yes, I'm sorry, but they don't have anyone else to read it. things that lurk deep within men. These stories would not please you. Especially men. Of course. It's kind of sexist. <laughs> I will read them for you. Oh, don't mind if you Only... do. Oh. Oh. They frighten me so. Don't the need to worry. I think that hassle is around here us. somewhere. I don't think we get anything. Around here. I probably should buy this one. It's pretty cheap and gives you one uh, one attunement. And I think what I should give this. Oh, I can't wait to get this one. Miracle of the Sable Church of Lando reinforces right weapon with dark. The fur daughter Lilian, one of the founders of the Sable Church, is said to recount tales that portray the suffering and conflict of Hollows. Um, I'm pretty sure this one as well. Members of the Sable Church are Lord trained swordsmen, each sworn only to their weapons as, well as they bear the laden silence of Londor. It's a pretty nice uh, spell in, uh, in combat if you uh, reach those guys that are very uh, caster oriented. Deep Protection Miracle taught to inaugurate beacons of the Cathedral of the Deep. Slightly boost attack, damage, absorption, and resistance while also increases stamina recovery speed. I kinda want this. The deep was originally a peaceful and sacred place but became the final rest for many abhorrent things. The style of the deep offers protection for those who worship the missiles horrors. Oh, I think this, oh, these two are the ones I got. Yeah, I think I had this three already. Dark miracle taught in the Cathedral of the Deep, someone's insects swarm to feast on foes. These insects which lurk in the deep have tiny jaws lined with fangs to tear open the skin and burrow into the flesh into the in the blink of an eye, causing intense bleeding. I think this is the uh, spell that those fat people uh, cast, it's not the one you uh, trade the souls from the Deacons of the church. I thought it was that one, but after I tried it, goddamn, that one sucks. I have to say, I'm really disappointed with that one. Hopefully, it becomes better later on, but I have didn't a like it journey, at all. Champion of Ash. Thank I you pray very for much. your sake. Thank you. Um, and I don't think I have anything new. As soon as I'm gonna deliver next game, I just have to. Uh, Get that sorcerer done and find out what's up with the answer on Batash. Right, and I think this is the end of the episode. Uh, what else can I say? I'm a little bit disappointed that I didn't get my uh, if kicked in. Right. Well, anyway, if you like my video, please leave a comment, maybe a like, maybe a subscribe, and I will check you on my next episode. See you later. Uh, what else did I learn in Ireland? Anything else, buddy? Hmm. Much. Oh, applause. Hmm. Oh, I think this one has a... Uh... No. I think you actually shot on that one. Wanna lose that one? No, 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 not this one. Yes, 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 I know you like your sword. <laughs> wow. Nicely shot. Wow, very nice. Yeah, so I'll catch you later.